guys and uh, welcome back to my channel <sighs> you guys look what happened to me like i can barely turn my freaking head like i can't i have to like turn my whole body to look to the right of me yeah that happens so if you guys see me moving a little weird in this video that is why i have no idea what happened anyways i went to sephora the other day and i got 50 snap shadows now i only got six and seven those are the two i had my eye on plus they're not really cost friendly they are 25 a piece uh, but if you buy two you get five dollars off which is what i got so yeah i'm trying to open them so they come in the little cartridges like this they're all numbered all the ingredients on the back and then once you open it it comes in a little thingy like this which you just pull up or i said pull up you just pull down and it looks like this and this is it this is cadet this is number seven and i know like my ring light is going to like reflect off of it and so like when you open it it does have a mirror don't want to blind you it has a little protector i'm going to bring it close to you i did open these the other day that is what cadet looks like and i have not swatched these i haven't done anything to them yet I'm gonna open number six first. You guys can see the really cool thing that these shadows do if I can get six open. Okay, and then number six, of course, looks the same, just has the six on it. And this is Smokey. I was really excited for both of these. These are the two that caught my eye the most. Same as the other one, has the mirror and the little protective thingy on it. Here is what number six looks like, the Smokey one. The fun thing about these palettes, they're very tiny. Like, let me find like a different palette to show you guys how small they are. So, some palettes, I I find really small and travel friendly would be like the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette or any of the Nine Pan ColourPop palettes or the NYX Ultimate palette. These two next to each other, they're about the same. The NYX one is a little shorter than the It's My Pleasure palette and the NYX one is a lot thicker than the It's My Pleasure palette. NYX does have more in theirs but that's besides the point. But show you guys how travel friendly these little Fenty ones are. Up next to the It's My Pleasure palette, it's like almost half. So yeah, they're really tiny, which I don't mind because I still feel like the pan size is really nice. So the thing about these is you take two and you snap them into each other. So you can open them like one side this way. I'm going to close it just a little bit because I'm scared I'm going to like mess it up with my finger. One side looks like this and then one side looks like this. To be honest with me, I would probably set them down probably like this. And then if I needed one, I would just, you know, flip it over. And then if I needed the other one, flip it over like this. I find that really cool they come apart really easily as well now they do have the names on the back of the palette that way you guys did i do that upside down i think i did it upside down okay so they do have the names on the back of the palette that way you know which shade is which we go do my brows off camera and then we will play with one of these and then i'll hop over into another look with the other one okay y'all my brows are super dark today i'm not even gonna talk about them they're very contoured they're very, you know, they're there. I was having a really hard time doing this one. But I did apply the ABH eye primer to my eyes. And I used the Crown Brows pencil from Midas on my brows. And also filled it in with the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go. You have discounts with both of these brands. That will be down below in the description. I will link both products and my code down below. I do want to go ahead and swatch both palettes on camera with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Smoky one, which is number six. That deep. Ooh. Chestnuts. You up. second date oh my goodness i don't even know if you guys can see how pretty that is okay so can you guys see that how pretty that is i'm just gonna swatch this one on my hand really close for you guys like little flecks of like glitter in there there now you can probably see it a little bit better i'm living for this one patty cakes that is stunning tan lines and i swatched that one a little to the side and that is all of the swatches of the smoky palette okay so while i'm taking these off my arm i will say that they feel they don't feel like buttery smooth but they do go on like swatch wise they went on pretty great you really see like any patchiness um they went on like normal eyeshadows usually go on but you know swatches usually really don't matter they're really only for like aesthetic purposes and just like satisfying purposes let's go ahead and do a look with this palette i'm hoping that my arm doesn't hurt trying to 
blend on this side. So first I'm going to go in with a T73 by the Makeup Shack and I am going to use shade Tan Lines. I'm going to like tap. Yeah, my eyelids are really dry. I don't know why, but they are. And I'm just going to start stamping this lightly into the crease. I'm going to pick some more of that shade up. Looking good so far. I'm going to do the other eye. Looking pretty good so far. I mean, it's just like the first, you know, little bit of a shadow and I'm sorry you guys, I'm looking for a certain brush and I can't find it. So now I'm gonna take a Morphe M562 and kind of just start lightly buffing that up into the crease just a little more so I can go ahead and put another shade down. And I'm gonna put chestnuts down next and I'm gonna put that like right underneath that. So I'm probably going to like blend it upwards into it. So I'm gonna like dab that on the lid and I'm trying to work light because deeper shadows sometimes are hard to blend out so I don't want to you know go in so heavy-handed like I usually do with other shadows plus I'm not super familiar with this formula just yet because these are the only two Fenty palettes that I own now besides the Galaxy palette which I think was a different type of formula. I'm going to take the same Makeup Shack T73 brush with whatever remaining product of that first shade we used and I'm just going to start buffing that up into the crease that way I don't lose any of the first shade I laid down. I think it looks really pretty so far. It's more of like a cool toned type look so far which is what I like. I do own like a lot of warm palettes so to see like a cooler you know smoky palette I'm kind of really into it right now. I really wish I could have did a review with all of the palette, but the way my bank account is set up, that would have never been possible, unfortunately. Just to go over the edges, I'm going to use the Spectrum B07 brush. Just like with the tip of the brush, just like really like rapid but soft circular motions. Just like go over the edges and make sure, you know, that is really soft and blended because I do not want, you know, it to not look blended. I am going to go in with the shade Second Date and I'm taking it on a Makeup Shack T48 and I'm going to do more swipes and tapping motions just because there's glitter in it and I don't want the glitter to just fall off. That's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to kind of hold my lid to the side just a little bit. No, I'm not tugging. Now there is fallout which I'm sure you guys can like see on my face but... I'm not like super worried about the fallout because I always do my face last. So that is a stunning shade. Oh my goodness. I do not have a shade like this in my collection that has like that really pretty blue undertone to it. So and like with the like the glitter in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the I did I ever tell you guys that I put the shade chestnuts on with the Beach Cosmetics Crystal Quartz number eight brush because if I didn't, that's what I use. So I'm gonna take that brush again in the same shade chestnuts. So I'm just gonna take that chestnut shade. I am just gonna go back in, kind of, you know, in that same spot. I'm gonna take the Spectrum B07 brush again. This time with more pressure, I am just going to go around the entire eye. And again, I'm just using circular motions. This time I'm just pressing down a little harder. You can see from this side to this side, it looks a little more blended and blown out. And I will tell you guys that the Makeup Shack T48 brush definitely helps me a lot with shimmery shades like on the lid and definitely with like cut crease type looks. I don't know what it is about the like rounded tip of the brush but it definitely helps me a lot and it gets like perfectly in like to the crease area as well. Now I am going to go ahead and clean up and then I'm going to put my base on and then I will come back and then we will do the lower lash line. Oh, my neck was hurting me so bad trying to finish it out. I did overline my lips you guys so if I look like Ronald McDonald do not come for me. I finally did get the gloss bomb that's what I have over the Stunna lip paint. Let's take Shay Chestnuts. I'm just going to take the Morphe M562, the tiniest bit of tan lines on it, like barely touching it, and I'm just going to like smoke it out a little more. Like I'm really loving like the smoky tone with this red lip, like oh, love it. Okay, so in a corner, of course, I'm going to take you up. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. If you guys ever see me tag just BH Cosmetics brushes in my tools on Instagram, it's these. I don't think they sell these anymore, so I really don't know what they're called. To the brow bone, I think I kind of want to just leave it blank. 
due to the fact that that's a little too dark for the brow bone, I think. Alrighty, you guys, and this is the completed look with the new Fenty Beauty Smoky Snap Shadow. What do you guys think? I personally really like it. I think that the glitter shade that I used is absolutely stunning. I love when I turn my head, I see both blue and gold, so that's really nice. I really don't have a shade like that in my collection. The only shade that we did not use out of the palette was shade Patty Cake. Do I recommend this palette to you? Yes. Yes, I do recommend this palette to you. The formula isn't like anything life-changing, but it definitely, if you're looking for something different and travel size, then I definitely would pick this up. Of course, I would pick up two so you can do the little cool snap shadow thing. I really am living for the glitter in this palette. The glitter is so, so nice, and I think that's what makes this palette completely. I'm really into it. I'm just gonna keep doing this since I can't turn my actual head. I have to turn my actual body because of that thing on my neck. So yeah, I really, really like this, and I really, really hate that I keep getting lipstick on my my teeth okay yeah so i will see you guys in the cadet review all right now on to the number seven fenty snap shadow which is cadet money mission can you guys see that it's this really weird white color so i don't know how well it's like showing up on camera actually but i really don't know if it's showing up like at all i hope you guys can see it <laughs> takeover Glamo Camo Fatigue with a P. I think that's how she pronounces it. She Salute. Oh, okay. I'm in love. As someone whose favorite color is yellow, I'm obsessed. Good Cookie. If these last three shades are stunning. I still hate that you guys can't really see that first shade all that well. There we go. I don't think you guys can see it on my arm. So as I take all of these off of my arm, just like I did last time, these ones feel a lot more smooth and buttery than the number six palette. The number six palette, ha the shadows were a bit more hard. I wouldn't say they were necessarily chalky, but they weren't as soft as these ones. Now, the one that I felt that was really soft was definitely Glamo Camo. That one was a soft shade. So let's begin a look, shall we? Okay, on a clean makeup shack, I know like there'll probably be repetitive brushes in this video, but I just want you guys to know as a disclaimer, I did clean my brushes before I started this video. So if I repeat any of them that I used yesterday, just know that they are washed. I'm gonna take shade Take Cover first on a makeup shack T87 brush. And I'm going to stamp that into my crease and then like blend, use back and forth motions to kind of blend that into the crease. And just so you guys know, for both looks, I did prime my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer. Next shade I'm going in with is Fatigue. And I'm just going to dab that right underneath where we just put that our first shadow. You know, my eye wrinkles are showing through a lot more recently with the deeper shadows and it's driving me insane. And if you guys hear cars outside, I don't know why lately, but that road has been so busy. And then with the same, oh, when I used the Makeup Shack T73 to put that darker shade on, but I'm gonna take that same brush and kind of blend it up into the crease as well, where it doesn't look like there's a harsh line there. I'm gonna take whatever product remaining on the Makeup Shack T87, and I'm just going to start blending that. The same way I did with the first look, I'm just gonna do like really light circular motions. I'm gonna take more of Fatigue. I'm going to start slowly putting it further up into the crease. That way you can see more of it in the actual crease area than just that little tiny spot on the lid. Switching back to the T87, no additional product. I am going to start blending again. And I know it's like tedious work, but I just want it to look really nice. So you guys let me know in the comments if you guys have one of these palettes. And if you do, which which one? I wanna know which one everybody else has because I really did want all of them. I think I wanna do more of a halo. I need more practice on those anyway. So let's take shade Money Mission because yeah, I really, really like that shade. And I am going to place it like on my lid, but I'm not going to place it like anywhere precisely at the moment. We're just getting like the basic laid it, like layout where we want it. Oh, okay, maybe I should have used a concealer. Let's take the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So I just put about this much on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take this brush here, which is just a, like, one of those BH Cosmetics brushes. And I'm going to get on both sides of my brush. I'm just going to just do like this until I feel comfortable. I am gonna wipe some of it off though. But I do kind of just wanna like coat it a lot to where it's super flat. And then I'm just gonna do each side like this until I feel like I have product. Cause I don't wanna go in, you know, too 
much because I'm not like a pro at halo eyes because as you can see like it's really messy when I do it and then I'm going to tap to blend. If it doesn't come out like a perfect halo that's completely fine to me. I still think like um, mimicked halo eyes are pretty but I just want like a general layout and I mean I can't really get good at them if I don't practice them. I'm hoping like laying down the concealer helps and I think it is. It looks a lot better. I think the only thing is I might have to use my finger and I don't mind using my finger for looks, you know, but I do have fat fingers. And now I need to get a Samola brush, this little BH Cosmetics brush. I'm going to take Glamo Camo and I'm going to start pressing that up against the side. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to like blend in everything else. I'm going to take this little brush. It's probably not clean, but and I am going to blend with this little Morphe M562 brush. And I'm going to try to blend it enough where it doesn't look, oh, it doesn't look too silly. And then I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Shack T87 and just blend out these edges. I actually don't think this looks bad. It's not a typical look I would probably do, but it's still really pretty. And I'm going to take my finger and just tap along the sides to make sure that my halo-y type look effect <laughs> is actually working. I don't mind this look. It actually, I actually really don't mind it at all. That yellow in this palette though is so pretty. It reminds me of more of like a mustard fall type yellow. But I know I'm going to be using it a lot. And if you guys have like any type of certain look you would like to see with either of these palettes, whether like it be anything, just let me know in the comments. And I will definitely try my best to get it done for you. I'm going to dip my M562 into that shade and just lightly dust it over the tops of the shadow because I feel like it lacks there just a little bit. And then taking that Makeup Shack T87. You think I would learn these names right now with these brushes, but the Makeup Shack T87 and doing the same thing on this side. Also, let me know you guys if you guys prefer more talking through type tutorial videos or if you prefer me to just be quiet and like point to the shadow and then you know I know what talk through videos some people don't like those because I blabber a lot I'm sure so some people are probably like shut up already and get to the point go back in with whatever's remaining on that brush and just tap that in and then I'm just gonna take my middle finger for this one I took my pinky in the last one but I don't really think it matters as long as the sides are blended I'm not mad at it. So what I'm going to do, and this palette actually has less fallout on my face than the other one, but there is kickback in both palettes. I don't personally don't mind that, but I know some people do not like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my face, do my base, and then we will come back for the lower lash line, inner corner, and all that other good stuff. I love this look, you guys, and I love these lashes. You see how big they are? Holy crap. Okay, so let's do the bottom lash line or lower lash line whatever you guys call it i think for this one i am going to use this bh cosmetics crystal quartz number 11 brush i'm going to go in with fatigue first and i'm just going to lightly dab my brush in there maybe this brush wasn't the best choice let's use this mikasa e310 brush I always make the funniest face when I do my lower lash. I'm just going to build this up, by the way. Should we add some of the yellow, like the tiniest bit of the yellow, like underneath that? Let's let's do that. I'm going to take the Beach Cosmetic Brush and some of them deposited very little color. And I'm going to dip into this yellow shade, which is She Salute. Tap that off multiple times. And I'm just going to like lightly. Where like it's visible but barely visible and I'm just gonna blend that with the BH Cosmetics Crystal Quartz number no. 6 brush. And so for inner corner I'm probably just gonna use Money Mission because that's the only like light shade in the palette. So I will also say though that I really love both looks that I did. I know my brows today are a lot like you know more toned down than yesterday's. But yesterday I was struggling and I just really wanted a more contour type brow. So if that one was a little extreme for you, you do your brows how you want to. I'm not here to tell anybody how to do their brows. I know some people aren't going to like the ones that I did yesterday, but that is completely okay. Here is the finished look. I think both looks came out completely incredible. I really loved both looks that I did. I really, really enjoyed using both of these and I cannot wait to play with them more. So like I said, if you guys have any requests for me to do looks with these, Please let me know. And I love how baby tiny they are. They're like the best. And I'm probably going to just store them like the exact way 
like just because I just like how compact this is. Do I recommend these palettes to you? Yes, I do. I recommend both six and seven to you because those are the only two I have. I'm not really sure how the other ones perform. I would love to have the other ones to do reviews on, but like I said, it's just not in budget at the moment, which is completely fine. I am really, really happy, you guys. I really, really love this look. I know, like I said, I wasn't in, like I wasn't that great at Halo Eyes, but I think this look is bomb, okay? I think it's bomb. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and do not forget to like and subscribe if you did hit 200 subs. I hope by the time this video goes out, I don't lose any, so that sounds silly. But yeah, we hit 200 subs and I love all 200 of you and I love all of those who watch my videos. But yeah, and do not forget to follow me over on my Instagram. My Instagram is at shymg. All the information for everything is down below. I will link these palettes as well so you guys can check them out for yourself. Love you guys and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Hey.